Welcome back to the Sam and Max Save the World. This is season one. We're now on episode four. Abe Lincoln must die. Again. What? That could sound really bad out of context. In this episode, knock some sense into the president to stop a giant statue of Abe Lincoln from going postal on the voting public, declare war, and watch the Secret Service break out into song. Uh, I'll accept the last part. Sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called Commander-in-Chief. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine, anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? So your submarines would eat people? Hey! My missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. Any golf balls? Nope. At least the president has his priorities straight. White House pool, most secure waiting pool on Earth. Jimmy? Oh great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. 
Speaking of which, beat it! Nah. Okay, here's what he said. Just step away from the door, please. Yes, sir, that is all I say. Thank you, sir. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979... Nah, do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. Nice stool. It looks a little like a weird space creature, poised to devour the unwary mortal foolish enough to sit on it. I like that in a stool. Valley parking, $2. Way to knock down that deficit. Whee! Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. There is a small mailbox here. Ah, uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Now that's government efficiency for you. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. We may be going nowhere, but at least we're making good time. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and uh, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise, over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor-sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Did you call yourself Superball? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the President. Oh! Superball! I get it! They have you guys doing odd jobs, too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Superball! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do.
I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police, here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone 4 now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Pretty nice place here. It'd be a shame if anything happened to it. What's that supposed to mean? Just that I'd hate for there to be an accident. How do you do that? Putting certain words in quotes when you talk. I've been practicing. That guard really takes his job seriously. I could create a distraction while you sneak in the door. The last time you tried to create a distraction, it brought down the power grid of the entire Western Hemisphere. You call it overzealous? I call it thorough. Okay, let's go. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. That would hardly be sporting. There are so many other things to punch. There are so many other things to punch. There are so many other things to punch. Any golf balls? Nope. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! Hey, a free home delivery sign. Uh, the sign's not free, but, oh, my book is. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! What was your book about again? Genetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness? 
It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are Yeah, yeah, it. less chatter, more magic. Okay, how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone! Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Stay colorful! President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it! Non-mafia-owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents! Are shaken, Bosco. Ah, greetings, comrades, dog and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky, Russian proprietor of workers' glorious warehouse of inconvenience, no? No! But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me! You are no Russian. What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know, they know! Who knows what? You are capitalist the liar. Man, Uncle Sam! The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um... Just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet! We are strong like bear against attack! I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your anti delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. It is turnip juice. We would drink potato juice, but uh, we already drink that. It's vodka. Turnip juice is sweeter, sweetest fruit in Russia.
What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's a good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. We want to buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. What do you got? Is most glorious invention, comrades. Is useful for how you say questioning. Questioning. Is true serum. Makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. Truth serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. We'd like that truth serum, comrade Boscovich. Is good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? One hundred million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boskovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? Is bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I've been rummaging through... Okay, I've heard enough. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the Mystery Vortex? Yet. That was from the first game. You have to put the snow globe, uh, activate the snow globe when you're inside the vortex so that you can get the vortex to go inside the snow globe to use it for these totems at the end of the game. Do you have any Lobster Fox brand cereal? Yet. Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yet. Place was cool. It was, everything was upside down. Water was dripping from the, what looked like the floor onto the ceiling when it was on the floor. Do you have any wiener cozies? Da. We just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh boy! Wait, did you say wiener cozy? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of wiener cozy. Do you have any Navajo blankets? Yet. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Nothing for us right now. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Boskovorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. I don't spy on Bosco. We've got an understanding. You understand that? Sir, yes, sir. Sludgies. This week's flavors, caviar and borscht. Borscht, the red menace. Whee!
Okay, here's what he said. The magic and illusion of wonder is a dream from your imagination. And I know you're listening, Sam and Max. Ah, creepy. Thank you, sir. Gentler Mussolini. Anybody home? Guess not. It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Come <laughs> Good, good. Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, lady? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. What's your opinion of this prismatology nonsense? My religious faith is based on who gives away the best free stuff. Okay, let's go. Feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always chip you on the cheese. It's like half air. Give me all you got. Hey, 
It's unnerving how his eyes seem to follow me wherever I go. That fox is totally checking you out. Go for it, Sam! Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three and Asparagus Rampage. I wonder what future archaeologists will learn from our most sacred treasure. That you can watch 250 channels and there's still nothing good on! Hey Sybil, what's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi fellas, I'm really excited. I've found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken! It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to! What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn-on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. <laughs> All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened. I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits, and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of the office. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it... Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, 
What do you say we never ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. <coughs> How's business? Slow right now, but those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. See you around, Sybil. You boys want to try the dating scene again? No thanks. Last time was too horrifying. Just drop an application in there if you change your mind. No thanks. No can do. What do you think of this computer matchmaking business? It's an abomination! People should find dates the old-fashioned way. A chloroformed rag in a dark alley? What can I say? I'm set in my ways. Were you going to ask me something, Sam? I was, but decided I'd rather not hear about it. Sounds like Sybil needs a date. Let's flip for her! All right, heads or tails? All of her! Ever feel lonely, Max? No, I have the voices to keep me company. I guess we should get back to work. When you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Okay, here's what she said. Hmm, meter maid? Nah, movie industry executive? Done that already. Hey, this looks good. Shuttle pre-flight analyst. Oh, it's part-time only. Thank you, sir. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big... Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay! Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, flight grounds work. I've had enough of this.
there are so many other things to punch. can do. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. That would hardly be sporting. What do you think of the White House, Max? There aren't nearly as many roller coasters as you'd led me to believe, Sam. We'll never be able to get in to see the President. We should have just called him and saved the trip out here. What are we doing here again? We're either trying to see the President, or we're on the first leg of a doomed expedition to scale the mighty K2. What day is it? Tuesday. Okay, it's the President thing. That guard really takes his job seriously. I could create a distraction while you sneak in the door. The last time you tried to create a distraction, it brought down the power grid of the entire Western Hemisphere. You call it overzealous, I call it thorough. Okay, let's go. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Five, 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 no dice. No thanks. No dice. Uh-uh. Room for rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. I've had enough of this. Assaulting armed secret service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. That would hardly be sporting. That would hardly be sporting. Whee! No thanks. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun!
The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Whee! When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. You always say that. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Can you disappear again? Okay. Hey, a free home delivery sign. Calling Sam. Mr. Pizza, two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job then. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well-dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. Grant them full clearance, over. Can't do that without approval form signed in triplicate, sir. Regulations. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure gonna be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Hello, is anyone there? Hello? Hello? Whee! Hello? Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. 
He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant, that's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. House of Representatives and Gardens. Hmm, throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. Are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents? We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. off the cameras it's a stack of pithy campaign slogans oh don't fool with those wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again no can do are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents we're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. This urn says Fluffy on it. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. Is that a potted plant or... The Vice President of the United States? It is hard to tell the difference. Apparently, even U.S. Presidents have mothers. U.S. Senate Talent Show, second place. My finest hour. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. That's the guy that created Sam and Max. Well, the brother of the guy that created Sam and Max. He kind of took it over by drawing on his brother's drawings and making a joke out of it. And then years later, his, he, he 
he was given the rights by his brother to use the characters because it kind of gave them a life of their own anyway. <laughs> Hands off, boy! That's my presidential calendar! Hey, Matt. Do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth! Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. This can only end in violence. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam! I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats? The surly tone? I've got it! You're that pit boss from the Toy Mafia. I smell a conspiracy! You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. What's the Toy Mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What Toy Mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage! I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of Husky Boys sizes. Woo! Double burn! I thought you were on my side, Max. I just call him like I see him, Sam. You're the President's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the President. National security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in, wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in, we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic trance. Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny, Max. And that's uncanny, as in, you two try anything and I'll plug you. You're always with the president? Even when he's got a... you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. You, perhaps. Very funny. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Oh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? Interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Cause I got a meeting with one of them furrin' dignitaries. Always talking that crazy space language. I think I Bill Clinton's famous line about not doing Monica Lewinsky. Who are you meeting with today? Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. Snap out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. Shaw, sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic regurgitator ray? Now that's crazy talk. I'm impressed. Wake up, Mr. President. You've never given up on anything in your life. Don't start now. 
That's awful nice of you fellas, but I haven't been hypnotized. Now do we commence with the head trauma, Sam? What was that? We'll have to get the president alone, Max. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Keep up the good work, Mr. President. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. The man's a genius, Sam! I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. Hey now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. Stand back, son! That there's the national budget! Alright, we'll end it here. And next time we'll go into the war room over here. Thanks for watching.